team has selected quality education as a global goal that we will focus on. The issue that we have recognised is the minimal range of courses being provided and not enough opportunities being offered to students. Our sixth form is where we will be focusing our idea. We want to prove that our idea has a positive impact on students, so we will be starting on a small scale. COVID-19 has led to companies and institutions backing out of providing students with opportunities. Many programmes are now virtual. We wish to expand our network and contact firms to come into schools and give students talks on how to gain an advantage when applying for higher education and future employment, such as CV skills and interview skills. The evidence our idea is based on is the following. An IPPR report suggests over the next 10 years, just over a third of all jobs will be in high-skilled occupation, requiring a high level of qualification, such as a degree or a level 3 um, vocational course. By 2022, there will be an additional 3.6 million jobs in medium and high-skilled occupation, and 80% of all industries will employ people with a vocational course or a high-level qualification. Reports suggest that skilled trades such as healthcare and public services will be in high demand in the future. For this reason, we want to introduce uh, more vocational courses and technical courses for our upcoming students. Our idea is for schools to create and offer more courses so we as a community can find and provide opportunities for those with different strengths, developing their skills and making them more suited for the work environment. Why is the idea practical? Well, companies like EY have created initiatives like EY Foundation, which supports pupils from disadvantaged backgrounds getting them into the line of work. Such initiatives have proved that through some support and information provided by schools or firms, students, will more, students are more likely to continue to further education or find work placement, and this will inevitably increase their standard of living. Well, to answer your question simply, we're going to start small and see where it leads. We're going to start here in our school, Grenada Seed Academy. We did a survey recently of 70 people, 38 boys and 32 girls from working class backgrounds. And we asked them, if we made more practical courses within the school, how would you feel? 60, 62 students agreed that such endeavours would be beneficial to their future. Individual feedback by God preaching, we are transitioning to sixth form. I have found that my school does not offer the courses I desire, which are practical based subjects. Therefore, I may have to attend a college. This was an uh, opinion that was reflected by loads of students. So what we, we are planning to do is talk to the head boy and head girl of our school. The communication they have will be very vital to our research to see if we can implement this. As well as that, we're going to talk to parents and senior leadership team because they are the ones leading our school to, in the future. One way we can help our students have a more beneficial future is reallocating funds to help us set up these practical courses. So to reallocate funds, we could help get funds that are not being used current, currently in this time of COVID and reallocate them into getting practical courses. As well as that, we can get external funds such as donations from parents and students, if need be. As a school, they have instilled the value of community into our students. Therefore, we feel we need to help the local community and the local community needs to help us. So what we have planned to do is contact local businesses that specialise in different trades that are more practical futures to actually help us, such as plumbing, construction and etc.